Sarah, and my piece is called Red Feather. She stomped into the room flushed with anger, re waving a red feather in front of her. She was mad for multiple reasons. Her poster, the one advertising her Red Canary fundraiser, was destroyed. The one who did it, her boyfriend. She stood there when it happened and watched him cackle with his friends as he pulled out his lighter and flicked it open. The breeze pushed that one feather to the floor. She ran to grab it, but it was too late. She got up to the floor. The poster was in flames. Every last feather was burnt to a crisp. He high-fived his friends and walked away, never acknowledging her existence. No tears fell from her eyes, but blood rushed from her face. Was her cause, cause stupid? No. Was her choice in a boyfriend stupid? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of nine-year-old right girl. girls and the right girl ninth anthology beyond words <laughs> yes give it up again <laughs> we're uh, very happy very and very thankful to be here at the writers guild theater and um, before we get officially into the celebration i just want to make sure that you guys that are all here are fully celebrated also you guys are all right girl supporters in fact on three, I want everyone to yell out the name of the girl that you are here to support, all right? One. Yeah! Here at Right Girl, we know the transformative power of creative self-expression. It takes courage, patience, and openness to face the page and create from the heart and mind. You'll notice I said page and not text or computer screen or cell phone. It's our, yeah, our girls are texting, they're instant messaging, they're Facebooking, they're Twittering, but at Right Girl, it's about the pen and the paper, right? Yeah. To stories, poetry, scenes, and our girls have done that over the last nine months. This is a very diverse community of women and girls. Um, everything from sneakers to chucks to high heels, boots with tassels, gotta check out the footwear if you're walking around at intermission. And we hope you'll meet some of our girls. They're all gonna have name tags that say, I'm an author, so get them to sign your book. Um, Bright Girl helps more than 300 girls every year, and they're all here to perform for you, all 300. So lock the doors, it's gonna take about 10 hours. I'm your writing is your voice, so don't lose it, don't fear criticism. Hi, my name is Angelica Garcia. And nothing helps me understand what it feels like to be sad, like sad music does. Um, music fits in my mood, whether it's ecstatic or furious, takes me to my writing realm and gives me the best inspiration. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Nancy Laura, and what I learned about writing is thinking too much description is bad. It leads a better understanding of the event to the reader. Hi, my name is Trace Barletta. When you're writing a story, paint a picture so vivid that your emotions start becoming real. Hi, my name is Kiara. When you write, write with your heart. Don't write what people want you to write. When you write, pour out your soul into each word as you write. Hi, I'm Guadalupe. Um, anger, hate, depression, desire, and all other emotions are inspiration enough, so use them. <laughs> and they mostly write. They write about things they're passionate about. Boys, yeah. music, shoes. They read their work to wrapped audiences at bookstores and festivals all year, and then we publish their work in an anthology. Oh, I think those books are for sale during intermission. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I have Kathy Bolton for My piece is called From Everything. I am from the red, black, and green. I am from men like Malcolm X and Dr. King. I am from the land of the free and the home of the brave. I am from too many kids and never enough space. I am from rhyme and from time. And time is of the essence, and can't you see? I am from everything, and I am me. Rashid, and my piece is called Unleashed. Words are dancing in my head. I can't seem to let them out. I want to free them, toss the key to the locked door inside of me. Fill the blank pages that are taunting me. The orchestra tango is waiting to be unleashed. Thank you. I'm Rakes, and my poems were inspired by, well, you'll see. <laughs> Waistband to hem, every inch covered in smiley faces. Hello's messages from my friends. Fidgety fingers make holes, pick, 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 watch them grow. From Stephen Berry's to my soul. long walks on the beach like most women say on those cheesy dating services. <laughs> who smiles just to smile or laughs because it feels awesome. I'm the girl whose best friend is my journal and my pen. My poem is called Hope. I was in math class and deep meditation about life and was inspired to write this poem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hope. A report card and a star. Universities and college. A collage of grades posted along the classroom walls. I'm proud. To it's easy maintenance in the morning. Her weary eyes and premature crow's feet are framed in a pair of small black glasses. Her car is worn and black. It has to get her home after her long shifts. Call Casantico because his confidence will, after cockiness, inspire me to write this about him. He is Atlas. He scales mountains and swims ocean, menacingly and bold, a challenging edge to his voice. He waits for fate to make its move. This late Sunday morning, I stretch unconsciously and awake to the constant downpour of rain. A more modern pride and prejudice on me on the street. I need you to help me. Lead me in the correct and rightful way. Empty spirit. Empty stomach, empty heart, empty soul. My mind races. Where will I sleep? What will I eat? What will the kids think about how? Hi, my name is Kalia Anderson. Um, just to make sure the things in his knapsack were all right. How his Bible was safe. His clothes seem unwrinkled. The new set of charcoal pencils were smashed, weren't smashed. The money was safely kept, and her mask was in perfect condition for the late 1880s. But he didn't care. He swung the door open and pushed himself through the, to the bright, light, and gusty winds. That was the last time he was in his old life at all. Second. Can I ask you something? Anything, sir. Why is it that the moon seems so close, yet so far away? 